Hey everyone, welcome to the sixth episode of the Islamic Coins Online Crypto Academy. In today's short tutorial, we'll be providing you with an overview of the different types of cryptocurrencies. So what are the different types of crypto? Although some people use the terms crypto, coins and tokens interchangeably, they are not the same things. To gain a basic understanding of cryptocurrency, it's important to understand how these terms differ from one another. Cryptocurrencies generally fall into one of two categories. So you've either got the coins, these can include Bitcoin or altcoins, which are all the cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin, or tokens, which are programmable assets that live within the blockchain of a given platform. The term altcoin refers to all the cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin. Some main types of altcoins include mining-based cryptocurrencies, stable coins, security tokens, and utility tokens. So what are cryptocoins? Cryptocoins are strings of computer code that can represent an asset, concept, or project, whether tangible, virtual, or digital, that is intended for various uses and with varying valuations. Originally, these coins were designed to function as a type of currency, and it's important to be aware that cryptocurrencies are not like fiat currencies, which is traditional money, such as the dollar, the euro, or the yen. Fiat money is tangible, it's governed by central authorities, and it operates as a store of value because you can exchange any fiat for goods or services. But cryptocurrencies can serve many purposes beyond that of currency. Cryptocurrency as currency is a use that grazes the surface of blockchain's capabilities because they're built on blockchain tech. Some cryptos can actually offer solutions to long-standing problems uh, in almost every sector of our economy. So what are tokens? Tokens are usually created and distributed through an initial coin offering, an ICO, much like an initial public offering, an IPO, for stock. They can be represented as value tokens like bitcoins, security tokens which are similar to stocks, or utility tokens designated for specific uses. Like American dollars or the British pound, tokens represent value but they are not exactly valuable themselves. In the same way paper money has value assigned to it but has no value itself as a physical entity. But tokens can be used in transactions for other things. A token differs from a coin in the way it's constructed within the blockchain of an existing coin, like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Crypto coins versus tokens. So when discussing cryptos, you'll come across the terms coin and token. Some people use them interchangeably, but that's a mistake. They're not interchangeable, and it's important to know the difference between a coin and a token. So while coins and tokens are considered forms of cryptocurrency, they provide different functions. Coins are built on their own blockchain and were originally intended as a form of currency. Generally, any blockchain-based cryptocurrency that is not Bitcoin is referred to as an altcoin, which we'll cover shortly. A digital coin is created on its own blockchain and acts much like traditional money, which is known as fiat currency. Coins can be used to store value and as a means of exchange between two parties doing business with each other. Examples of coins include Bitcoin and Litecoin. But tokens, which are created on an existing blockchain and not on their own, can function in many more ways than acting as currency. Instead of representing an exchange of value, tokens are considered programmable assets on which you may create and execute unique smart contracts. These contracts can establish ownership of assets outside of the blockchain network. Tokens can represent units of value, which includes real-world items like electricity, money, points, coins, digital assets, and much more, and it can be sent and received. Ether, which is used to make transactions on the Ethereum network, is a token. In another example, the basic attention token BAT or BAT, also built on Ethereum, is used in digital marketing. Tokens can be used as a part of software applications such as granting access to an app, verifying identity or tracking products moving through the supply chain. They can also represent digital art as with non-fungible tokens or NFTs. There have been even experiments using NFTs to represent physical assets such as real life art and real estate. Lastly, what are altcoins? The term altcoin began initially as shorthand for alternative to Bitcoin and most altcoins were launched to improve upon Bitcoin in some way or another. Some examples of altcoins, altcoins are Namecoin, Litecoin, Peercoin, Ethereum, and USD coin. Like Bitcoin, some cryptocurrencies have a limited supply of coins, which helps create demand and reinforce their perceived value. For example, there is a finite supply of Islamic coin, which is until 1 billion is minted. Though most altcoins are built on the same basic framework as Bitcoin and share some of its characteristics, each altcoin offers slightly different traits. Some altcoins use a different process to produce and validate blocks of transactions. Some might offer new features, like smart contracts or an advantage, like less price volatility. 
Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit like and subscribe at the bottom. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the comments or reach out to us on www.islamiccoin.net. Stay safe and stay tuned for our next short video. Thank you.